Miracy. A family was always quarrelling from the strain of living so closely together. One day, the man could no longer stand it and went to a holy man to ask for advice. My dear fellow, do you have any chickens? inquired the wise man. Yes, he replied. Excellent. Bring them into the house to live with you. The discomfited man returned home and did as he was told. Now there were chickens underfoot and eggs in the bed. No one could sleep for the clucking sounds. Hi, I'm Lisa Bloom, the story coach, and you're listening to Once Upon a Business. In each episode, we explore a story, a fairy tale, folk tale, or traditional story, so that we can discover the amazing lessons relevant for business and for entrepreneurs. Sleep deprived, the desperate man returned to see the holy man. It was bad before, he exclaimed, but now it's worse. My friend, do you by any chance have a goat? Yes, came the reply. Excellent. Then take the goat into the house to live with you. Amazed at his advice, the man did as he was told. Now he was really in trouble. The goat went wild, butting everyone and everything. At last the man returned. Holy man, my life is in ruins. Please tell me what I must do. Do you by any chance have a cow? inquired the wise one. Yes, the man hesitantly replied. Then bring her in too. Believing now that the old man must be mad, he obeyed nevertheless. That night, there was no room at all in the house. The cow could not even turn around. Feathers were in the soup, not to mention what was on the floor. The next day, the man hardly dared return to his advisor, but he did. Before he could speak, the wise man smiled with an infinitely patient look. Go home now and take the animals out of your house. The delighted man hurried back and did as he was told. That evening, well, the family slept deeply. Returning, refreshed the next day, he greeted the old master with ahoy. How did you manage it? Last night, nobody quarreled. We all slept well. There was so much room in our little house. It was a haven. The holy one smiled and said, Remember, my friend, it could always be worse. This is an old Jewish story, and it's been told in many cultural contexts. You know, I can't remember the first time I heard this story. I think I've known it for years. It's a funny one that feels simple and almost flippant, as if you would wonder if there's any wisdom to be gleaned from such a simple tale. And of course, there are some great ideas in this story that are relevant to business and the journey we take on as entrepreneurs. It starts with the arguing family, struggling under the strain of living so close to each other in cramped conditions. The story goes that the man could no longer stand it and went to the holy man for advice. It speaks to the importance of seeking external advice when you have a problem. That's true of business. Working with a mentor or coach is such a great way to solve problems by getting a different perspective and an objective viewpoint. I wonder, though, that he waited until he could no longer stand it. I don't think we should wait until we're desperate before getting help. I also think it's important to address problems as they arise and not ignore them. Sometimes we get a gut feeling that something is not right, but ignore it or don't pay enough attention until it's really at a point of crisis. I find that working with both a coach and a mentor, I address issues before they become problems. So as a potential situation comes to my mind, I can think it through with the help of this additional viewpoint so that I'm so much more prepared if and when the situation escalates. What's most interesting about the story is the shift of perspective that takes place. The home that feels so cramped and unbearable at the start of the story feels spacious by the end. It's amazing what a little perspective can do. This really speaks to me as we often get stuck in our own sense of the lack of physical or emotional space to be free or to be able to feel fulfilled, and yet often it's only our perspective that is stifled. Just a few weeks ago, I found myself in a conversation over the dinner table. One of my sons said that he believed that the world was in a worse situation than ever before, that life is harder, that the world has deteriorated in relation to freedom and positivity. 
a sad view for sure. And of course, I didn't agree at all. I said to him, I mean, just 80 years ago, people died so much younger. There were no cures to so many of the illnesses that are now treatable. Women were not allowed to have a bank account, never mind owning property or getting a good education. How can the world possibly be worse now? It's all about perspectives. Yes, there are significant challenges now, but my goodness, we've come far. I love the holy man's words when he says it could always be worse. It speaks to a mindset of gratitude. And with that, I'm also reminded of when I was a child and I didn't finish my plate. There was always someone to remind me about the starving children around the world, which is such a flawed way of thinking. Not only did it guilt me into eating what I truly didn't want to eat, it also left me feeling strange about the concept of gratitude, that somehow I needed to be grateful and a little guilty about all I had because there were so many people in a worse situation than me. But this story kind of heals that experience. It's not about guilt or shaming. It's about perspective and gratitude. Because so often we forget what we have in our pursuit for more. In this story, we see the abundance of a crowded home that's full of family and all the animals too. So when the animals are put out, they realize how spacious the house really feels. It reminds me that with all my normal challenges, issues, and problems, just like everyone else, I'm incredibly fortunate. And for that, I don't need to feel guilty. I need to simply appreciate the abundance of my life, and not least of which is the ability to share these wonderful stories with you. I'm Lisa Bloom, and you've been listening to Once Upon a Business. You can find out more about me at story-coach.com. That's story-coach.com. Once Upon a Business is part of the Miracy FM podcast network, which also includes such shows as Making It and Course Lab. To catch the great episodes that are coming up on Once Upon a Business, please like and follow us on Miracy FM's YouTube channel or your favorite podcast player. And if you enjoyed the show, please leave us a comment or a starred review. It's the best way to help us get these ideas to more people. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Thank you.